Hello, my name is Gabriel from Grabbank USA. In this video, we're going to talk about what is super escalar, uh, what is in order and out of order processing. So, in the other class, we were talking, we were in the other side of the uh, whiteboard and we were talking about uh, fetch, decode, execute, uh, and everything else. So, if you didn't see the other class, I recommend you to go to the other class. The, one of the first one, so the the prior class, and uh, you will you will find everything. If you want to buy the class, the the course about uh, how to become a computer technician, I'll leave you the URL in the description of this video, so that way you can go to my website if you want to. So now we are going to to talk about a uh, super scalar. So this is a archi architecture that helps the the CPU to process things in, in parallel. So the thing is, you will have few things that are duplicated uh, are not, and others are not duplicated at, at all. So in this case, we have fetch the code. I hope you remember those from the other classes. Uh, we have fetch the code and we have the scheduler. Scheduler will work kind of like a, a queue, but it's not like a queue really, but I'm going to simplify the thing so you can understand things better. So um, here we'll hold the instruction so and it will decide if it's going to use maybe one execute unit or the other or if one instruction is going to take like many cycles, maybe 10 cycles or something like that and you have another instruction that will take just one cycle, it will give the priority to the small smaller instructions so that way it can deliver the data much faster. So that is basically how it, it will work, how, how it, it works. And here we have fetch the code scheduler, it does the trick that I said, execution and store and then it will send, it will write the um, data to to the data bus so that is how it will it will work so in the first uh, units and the first uh, processors so you have uh, this this thing you you didn't have these uh units here you don't have the execution at the store for for instance and then the first uh, data i mean the first instruction will come here and then here and then it will have to go in in this order so if if you have another a another instruction that have to be run at the same time, you cannot do that because you have just one one unit, one of each one. So that is the, the thing here. You, you can process many, many instructions at the same time. So that is, is good. And even if you, if you one instruction is taking eight uh, cycles or something like that, and maybe the other is taking two, I mean, you can deliver the, the instruction much faster that, that way you can process everything uh, much faster so it, it works uh, great i mean it works as fine no problem except when there are dependencies so if you have for instance uh, this instruction here is uh, b equal a plus c and then you have another one that is d equal b plus i so, because we don't know B here, so it will be kind of like that. So, I hope you can understand. So, it will be the, it's the simulator. So, I'm going to write it, but I hope you can understand. It's the same, it's the lowercase b. So, here we have uh, this, because we don't know uh, B, uh, so we are, we are going to, to wait for this instruction. So, if you have this instruction first, D equal B plus I. Your, I mean, this instruction will have to wait until this is processed. So otherwise, we are, we, we cannot uh, process uh, this. And that is basically it. And now we are going to talk about the other. Um, so the first in, first out. Uh, this is very simple to, to understand. Is it w comes one instruction, fetch the code, and then we have the scheduler. And then we have the execution and store. So it's the first, in, the first come, the first in, the first out. It doesn't matter if the first instruction it will take ten cycles and the second one will take just one. 
So it doesn't matter. So oh, the whole process will be stuck, will, will stall at, at that moment until uh, that uh, instruction uh, finish, and then the other one can can get in and then uh, keep the the process. So that is that is the the thing. And the and the and then we have the other one is first ready, first out. So what it means, if if we have if you have, for instance, one, one instruction, it takes eight cycles, and then you have another one that takes one cycle, and then the scheduler will say, no, let's make the, the short one, and then later on we can do the, the long one. So that, that way is more, is more optim, optimized, uh, it's optimized uh, that way. Um, uh, the, the same thing, I mean, the caveat will be the, the same thing. I mean, if you have the same, a scheme here, and you have to wait until one instructions uh, until you have the data w of one instruction to make the the other one uh, to run the uh, execute the other one. It will be the the same thing. So in this case, if you have different instructions that are not related, like C equals T plus X, and then you have another one that is uh, Y equals M plus N. I mean, yes. It doesn't matter, it can take one or the other one, but it, the scheduler will decide which one is going to do first. The, usually the, the first, the s small one, the, the one that is going to take less cycle is the one, the one that is going to, to be first. So I hope it, it was uh, useful. Remember, click like and subscribe and see you in the next class. In this next class, we are going to talk about hyper trading, uh, how, how it works. So I yeah, hope it was useful. Remember, uh, leave, me, leave me a comment on the description and see you next class. Bye. Okay, I'm going to tell you one little story, so it will be nice, a uh, nice example uh, ac according to what we just learned. So here we have three lines of people. We have people with eight products, five products, one product, three products. So depending on the color of the card is the amount of product that they have. And here we have the cashiers. So you have three lines of cashiers, so we have the different options. So if you if you've been in the supermarket, you see that usually you have cashiers de de depending of the <laughs> of the size of the supermarket. There are, you may have 50, you may have 10, five. But the, the idea is when you have uh, three lines of people in, in this case, in this example, uh, they, they will take, I mean, each one of them will take X amount of minutes to uh, attend them, and, I mean, to, to dispatch them so they, they can go home. So that is the idea, so they can leave the supermarket as soon as possible. So in this scenario, you will have this guy with five, three, one, and eight. So if this guy, I mean, they, if you have a scheduler here or some person that sees the color of the cards, in this, in this case, the instructions will, will be able to say, oh, okay, you have you, you green, come here first. You green, come first, so you can first serve and then you can uh, leave. So that will be, it will be like first ready, first, ready, first out, like I said in, in another, and, an, and another time. So that, that is the, the idea here. So that, that way you can get rid of the customers faster. So if you have an, maybe another way, uh, an, another, like the CPUs, the, the CPU have different units, so that way they can work faster on the instructions. So here in this case, we have, okay, we have cashier that is going to at, attend or is going to receive just customer with one product. In this case, the green one will go here, is so that way you can get rid of the customer faster. You have five and you have unlimited. So that way you can sort them uh, by the amount of product that they have, and that way it will work faster. So that is how it works, the different architectures. So the, the idea is that you can get rid of the data as soon as possible. So that is how they work. Maybe you have another example, some supermarket, they do this, this they make just one big line and they have different 
uh, cashiers and they try to serve as, ma as many people as possible because in the first is, is, is example that you have here, they cannot cross, at least in the real world, is something like that. So I hope it was uh, useful. It was a simple example in the real world how you can imagine the, how the processor works with the different units and everything else. So remember, subscribe and see you in the next class. Bye.